Well, drivers who have a blood alcohol level of 0.08 are considered impaired, but what and how do you detect someone under the influence of marijuana? Marijuana smell, not enough for police to make an arrest. So last month, Baltimore County police officers took part in a training aimed at getting some answers to that question. This helps us to understand that there's going to be users of marijuana. There's going to be patients with marijuana in their systems, but that may not mean that they're impaired. Seeing this, we'll be able to better identify impaired drivers. So how are state troopers preparing? Joining us now is Maryland State Police State Breath Test Supervisor. That's Trooper First Class Samuel Jackson. Thanks for coming by, sir. Thanks for having me. So July 1st will be a big time. Uh, it will be something new as uh, recreational use of marijuana comes through. Talk to me a little bit between the, about that thin line between consumption safely and then impairment. What are you looking for? Well, there's really no fine line. Okay. Um, we're encouraging the public, if you're going to consume cannabis products, to plan ahead for safe transportation. Sure. For you guys, when you go out and you're looking for things, I'm guessing you had to go through some training, and there, you have to get out to your men and women out there in the force. Tell me about the training that they go through for this, because I'm guessing it's a little different, yeah, compared to alcohol? Yes, well, at, a, um, at an academy level, SFST is the baseline for impaired driving enforcement. So standardized field sobriety test training is what we're giving every trooper that comes through our academy. Once when they become more experienced on the road and they have a little bit more under their belt with standardized field sobriety testing, we're offering them a ride, which is advanced okay. roadside impaired driving F uh, enforcement. And with that, we're uh, incorporating three additional tests into the standardized field sobriety testing. So we're incorporating lack of convergence tests, which is the inability of the individual to cross their eyes. Oh. We're doing modified Romberg balance tests, which is a time estimation test. And we're also looking for different indicators of impairment during that test. Mm -hmm. And then the last test that we're offering in A-Ride is the finger to nose test, which the individual is touching the tip of their nose with the tip of their index finger, all while having their head tilted back and their eyes shut, just showing different different um, ability to uh, estimate where their nose is on their face and bring their hand back down and follow directions. So all types of impairment are not equal then, yeah? Does that, does that make sense? Well, no, there's, uh, I, I guess, um, alcohol, just like alcohol yeah. and cannabis, they're going to affect each individual differently. Uh, okay. um, so we have to look for different things or different clues of impairment or different indicators of impairment for each individual. Tell me about arrest made so far when you're doing for impairment. Have you seen much? Well, in 2022, we arrested over 13,000 people in the state of Maryland for DUI, um, and a, a, over 900 of those were charged with the C&D violation, which are the drugs and alcohol or controlled dangerous substance violations. 13,000 seems huge. Yeah, 13,000. Uh, uh, there's more out there. Yeah. We can only do so much on an enforcement level, and we're encouraging the public, again, whether you're consuming cannabis products or you're consuming alcohol prior to driving, to plan ahead for a safe transportation. There are penalties if you are caught. Talk, talk to me about what someone may face. Well, for a DUI penalty with uh, drugs on board, mm -hmm. you're talking to drugs and or alcohol, you're looking at 60 days to up, up to a $500 fine. And then if you're uh, charged with the controlled dangerous substance in your system, it's one year and a thousand dollar fine. You're saying off camera that you want to forge a relationship with the cannabis community to make sure we all understand uh, how this law changes come July. Well, certainly us on an enforcement end can only do so much. Uh, our mission as the Maryland State Police stays the same. We want our roadways to be as safe as possible for all of our motorists. This is a joint effort between dispensaries, between the Maryland State Police, local law enforcement, and just your community in general of planning ahead for safe transportation. Like we say with alcohol, plan ahead. Once when you're impaired, you're not going to make a better decision. Yeah. So if you're not planning ahead, if you're planning on having cannabis or consuming cannabis products, please plan ahead for that uh, safe driver. Know someone to call, have Uber on speed dial, whatever you need to do at yeah, that point. Yeah, certainly. Um, Uber to your destination so you don't have even the possibility of driving okay. that evening. Easy enough. Trooper, good yeah. to see you. Thanks Thank for coming you. by. Thank Stay safe out there. Me. Take care. Sir.